Hello, I'm Jasper. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, this tutorial is going about uh, more in detail or more sp specific uh, on, re on request um, to trigger uh, an encoder in chances like pen and tilt movement with the Akai APC Mini and uh, uh, sending MIDI values to Show Cockpit and Show Cockpit is translating these values to OSC and then uh, triggering uh, uh, Magic Q to, to, to execute uh, things. So first of all you need some blue hardware, in my case I have a PC Compact Wing uh, here and uh, I have here a Akai APC Mini but that could be any device, MIDI device with a fader uh, and it's more easy if it's already in the list of the compatible hardware with um, uh, Shell Cockpit. So, okay, first of all, I, I created the new show uh, called New Project in the Shell Cockpit. And also, I in MagicQ, I will start a new show, uh, just normal. Uh, so that's what uh, I'm doing. So, first of all, to, to, to get it done, I just patch a bunch, patch. Uh, I'm going to patch, uh, choose hats like for example Roby. Uh, I will take, 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 take. Okay, let's um, uh, take Robin 800 lead wash. Uh, I just take one of these, uh, patch it. I say eight, doesn't matter. Uh, automatically put them in the visualizer. Oh, seems I have just patched one. Um, then I will add seven more. Okay, here we've got them. So I say I will make an execute here. Uh, just make sure I'm on page one. So the first. You can you can use any page you want, but uh, I think limited to to ten or something uh, with show cockpit. But uh, in this case, I just take page one and I set a grid size. Ba -ba -ba -bam, set grid size. Let's say uh, uh, four by four. Okay, enter. So that's a really big grid. So here we've got or a really small one with big with big icons. Uh, so we just we have uh, 16 uh, items so we have page 1 and item 1, item 2, item 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and so on until we've reached 16 in this case okay here we are on the first item we do assign special and then we choose here encoder and then we choose for attribute and then we choose the pen movement and then the next one assign special same encoder attribute and this will be the tilt movement so we've got here pen and tilt and e from encoder so then i will copy the group here uh, group so I go to copy right above in my case and then uh, I copy this one on the destination let's say here and just I go back to group I select this one make it active and then I will set the intensity with uh, 100% and then I will press record and I just give it a name like intensity or int and then I paste it here so and then we just select these four items and we do just to set region so okay I press uh, clear okay now it's off when I turn on my intensity, it's on. So, okay. 
Uh, when I go to view execute, you'll see here two encoders, intensity and the group, which I've selected now. Okay, so for Camsys or MagicU, this is basically it for this tutorial. So you're uh, set and uh, ready to go. Uh, in a previous video, I was talking also about the settings. Um, just go shortly through it. Uh, in network settings, you have to make sure here, uh, I say, when uh, OSC mode, DX and RX. So make sure it's uh, not disabled, not DX, not RX, just both. And then these numbers, in my case, uh, TX 9000 and RX is 8000. So that's um, these are the, the sending and the receiving port. So that's it. So I just show execute again. Okay. So we are uh, for Camsys. Oh, it's blurry. Okay. We are set. Then we go uh, to shell cockpit. In shell cockpit, I have a new project. So it's an empty one uh, r right now. And then I have to uh, choose elements. We, we are in elements here. Then we have to add. Uh, we have uh, external control. In my case, I use MIDI. Akai APC MIDI, that's what I'm using. Uh, just give it a name. Okay. Then I have also lighting. In my case, I have a, a Magic, Campsys Magic Q OSC. So, okay. And one of the other reason is going to the background and it stays in the background so I have to make my oh, make my window small okay then the next uh, I have is um, so basically the the Akai APC mini it has a fader so it I, I'm, I will use the fader it has no encoder in this one so it's a fader and with this fader, I have to simulate, um, you know, on the Magic Q, I have, to, I have to simulate this. But you see, I can keep keep it turning without stopping and keep it turning back. It has no end. So how do they do simulation with the fader? So I will show you soon. But uh, the middle position is the freeze position. And this is like if you go here. It's going slowly backward, fast backward, fast, 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 faster, super fast backward until you read, uh, reach a limit. And here you go, and here you go above the middle. You go slowly increasing, faster increasing, super fast increasing until you read a limit or not. So, okay. So now this will be pan and this will be tilt. So fader one and fader two. So, um, so here, okay, with the Magic Q OSC, just make sure uh, these two uh, are in the correct, and also the IP address is the same uh, IP address like uh, uh, in Magic Q on your uh, system. In this, in my case, I will go uh, setup network uh, two nine. I have to make sure I have the good IP address. I'm not sure this is really important because I'm on the same PC, but uh, I just do not do not. I make sure it is 200.19. Enter. Okay. I can only change. Uh, Oh, it's blurry. I can only change parameters here when this is off. So when it's on, I cannot change parameters there. Okay, the next uh, step is, okay, the mapping of the encoder and that's, we need another element. So we go back to oh, elements and then add. And then we, in utilities, control convert. And then we have here fader to encoder so um, there, there are a lot of different things but 
we have the fader from Akai and we have to change we have to convert uh, it to encoder so here we go fader to encoder let's say okay fader to encoder and then you say okay so here we have a fader to encoder um, how much encoders do we use as asked here okay just one uh, two sorry pen and tilt so then we can make them all active and what's prompting me is uh, I will turn off again the archive and when I turn it on uh, the uh, buttons are lighting up so then you are also sure you have a good connection so now we have to do the mapping um, okay uh, I will put here Akai APC Mini, so that's the output from Akai APC Mini has no function yet. So Fader One has no function. There is no function at all right now. There is not nothing is mapped. Nothing is say this input has to do that output. So right now I go to I I choose here uh, Fader to encoder Fader control and then the first. That will be the pen, that will be one. And you see here encoder number one. And that will be my first fader. And he's automatically going on to number two. So that will be my second fader. So two encoders. So right now, when I turn on fader one, so when I'm moving fader one, you see it's getting orange and two orange. So when it's receiving, uh, so when I'm when I'm moving my fader, there will be an orange uh, square here or a rectangle. Yes, and same for fader two. So that's going. Is is reading the fader input, and he's tran translating that into an encoder movement. So that's basically what I've mapped it now. So. Magic Q is not doing anything, uh, not receiving anything right now because there is not nowhere information going through the uh, Magic Q. So then we choose here fader to encoder. So the this element has already input from the Akai Mini APC, but it has no output yet. So then we choose here, and then we choose. Uh, on the left side magic Q OSC and then we say in our case we have the execute window item and then or execute window item as we remember here uh, and execute this is in view design you can see it better this execute page one item one two three and four but one is the pan movement, fader one. So that's the first encoder. That's one. So I keep going back to show cockpit. Here, execute item one off page number one. So that's correct. And then two off page number two. Uh, page number one, execute item number two. So that's okay. So we go back to elements. Take a look, everything is okay. Okay. So when I'm moving my faders, and you already see what's happening in my visualizer. So I will I will I will show the campus once again and I will do execute view execute, yes. If it's willing to. Okay, I will Go somewhere on the value. Okay, I will do the tilt right now because that's very easy to see. So right now the tilt is in the middle. So I will make my visualizer also a lot bigger. So now I am on distance. So. This one is the tilt, so if I move up, and you can see the values also, 
and when I just go a little bit up, but it's still moving upwards. So the, the value is always increasing until I go a little bit back down and then it will be uh, freezing. So if I go down with the fader and I go fast down, it's going completely up and uh, down actually. And then I have to go over half and then it's going slowly. And the higher I go with my fader, the faster it goes. So, and to stop it, I have to stop my fader in the middle. If, if I would like to have a horizontal position of my fixtures. So it's like this. So I have to move it with up and down to the middle, to that position I want. And after that, I have to uh, uh, keep the fader here in the middle to freeze it. For the pan is just the same, uh, but I will move my viewpoint of view. Okay, so when I go with pan, I'm already on the maximum and I go down. So that's my pan movement as view from, from the top. So, so I go fast, completely up, completely fast down. And when, when I would like to uh, move my arrows, move my beams to my moist pointer, I have to go up and then slowly, slowly. And I put my fader in the middle. So, actually, this is just easy integration of encoder to... Uh, uh, send over midi to my campus uh, system so okay feel free to to react to to ask questions and uh, see you later on thank you bye bye